lucky stars to be here today. A moment of support, of acclaim and adoration. A little more than 48 hours since the attempt on his life, Donald Trump made his first real public appearance, walking into the Republican National Convention to be met by people who already thought he was a hero. A bandage over the wound on his ear, clear to see. He didn't speak, that will come on Thursday. This was about reassuring the party base and reveling in the support. And repeating the word he uttered to the crowd after he was shot. He was joined in the VIP box by the man he announced as his running mate, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, once an avowed anti-Trumper, comparing him at one point to Hitler, now a MAGA diehard. It was a decision which brought delight from delegates. He brings a lot to the ticket. For one thing, uh, a different age level, you know, and that's what we need because we need to carry it on. You know, some of us are, are getting up there in years, so we've got we to bring on the new generation to carry it on. But a warning from one analyst about the wider appeal of the 39-year-old former Marine. J.D. Vance, though he's from Ohio and wrote this wildly popular book, Hillbilly Elegy, that hit the hit a great chord for a lot of folks. I think he lacks charisma, and I don't think he's qu uh, quite the type of candidate that could have vast appeal to a general election audience. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. There was talk that Trump's brush with death would lead to a kinder, gentler tone at this convention. More about unity than division, more about respect than rancor. But that didn't stop many on the platform falling into familiar ways. They promised unity and delivered division. They promised peace and brought war. Today's Democrat agenda, their policies, are a clear and present danger to America, to our institutions, our values, in our people. Donald Trump will address the convention on Thursday. A different speech, a different tone hinted at by his team from a man whose campaign was almost ended by a bullet. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, at the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.